All right. So, I mean, I, I want to I wanna scrutinize this so that anybody listening yeah. to this, so they will have different viewpoints, right? So totally. uh, we, we want to we wanna demonstrate different angles of it and how it's taken. Yeah. And, of course. And, and I don't I, mind at all. I don't mind at all. Like this, I yeah. do this all the time. Yeah. So I, I have seen several times that, for example, something I buy for uh, pressing, you know, the, there is those, um, the, the, the stuff that get the wrinkles out, I forget the name now. So uh, the price changes on those. So now I look at it and it's, it's pennies. So I don't really form an opinion about, oh, you know, this is that they're trying to gain. So it does happen. And frankly, whenever I make the purchase, I don't really re remember the price. Sure. Of course, you have your order history. If it's a re, you know, you're buying it again and it's a repurchase, you can compare to your previous. But uh, the other thing is, price goes up all the time, and especially now as we record this in 2024 yep. March, is there's inflation, so prices are going up. So uh, it's something that definitely people can, um, you know, capitalize on. Uh, but uh, by the way, by the way, the, the price doesn't always go up with prophecy. Sometimes the optimal decision is that the price goes down, like I mentioned. So it's we are you you know this, the the brand comes to us and they say, hey, here's our min price, here's our match price, here's our lander cost. This is our objective. Our objective is to maximize BSR, or maximize revenue, or maximize profit. Based on those inputs, we have some other additional what I call power ups that you can use, like what's your risk tolerance behavior. How do you want your variations to synchronize with the parents you specifically? Do you want them to be asynchronous or synchronous? Do you have a one pack, a two pack, or four pack, or bundle? Do you have digital bundles available? Those are all things that are considered when you're actually coming on the platform. And then our pricing works over time, just like Uber, right? Uber surge pricing, right? Wendy's just launched surge pricing as well. And so this is an idea of the future, and most people just aren't aware of it just yet. But my my vision for the future, Nick, is that brands are going to have to become algorithmic brands to survive. Amazon is going to become just like Wall Street. It's no different. Where bots are taking over and pricing is one of those things that's going to happen whether, whether I do it or whether somebody else does it. And so that's why we're capitalizing on the opportunity. I'm happy to go into detail about Wall Street, but if you look at the 90s, in the early 90s, Wall Street was people holding up pieces of paper and being like, I want to buy this stock. I want to do, I want to sell this stock. And now it's 80, I think it's like 80 or 90% of, of Wall Street is just bots making trades, capitalizing on that price arbitrage opportunity that exists. And Amazon is no different. Amazon's a commodity marketplace where computers will be humans all the time, right? And that is where we're going to, where we can execute trades in real time with no oversight from humans. And I mean, we, at Prophecy, we have a data science team that's overseeing everything. And this is going, this is currently giving the brands that we're using, that we're, that we're managing a, a, um, a, a level up, right? They're essentially have a competitive advantage that others can't actually succeed on because of this. And we're seeing a 10 to 50% lift, lift in profit just by changing pricing alone. Yeah, because you're dealing directly with the top line, right? So when you have that uh, a dollar coming as a revenue, that's the full size of the pie, everything gets taken piece by piece. And then yep. you're left with whatever you're left with. So you are actually increasing the size of the pie. So by changing the price. So that's a big deal.